Hello learning birds. Today we are going to have a PowerPoint lesson like none other. We're going to talk about some cool tools that will make your presentations look really sharp. So let's talk first off about one of the neatest tools for text and that's called Word Art. If you go to the insert tab and you insert some Word Art right in there you can pick some fonts that don't exist anywhere else. Let's choose this one here because gray is an awesome color. Word art is amazing. There we go. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and edit this word art. You can click on text effects and you'll be able to choose all sorts of different things to do with this word art. You can make it have an arc up or down. You can make it into a circle. You can make it kind of go all over the place, V's and in and out and wobbly. You can see all sorts of different things. The fun thing about word art is that there are so many different fonts, so many different ways that you can mess around with them, that you can really have some serious fun. So let's say we pick this one here. You want to look for those purple tabs there, and when you slide those, you can actually make it more intense or less intense of you know, arcs and curves and whatever you're going to be doing. All right? You can also twist it sideways and move it around to wherever you would want that art to be. Really great way to make the presentation have some, some cool text inside of it. So definitely check out Word Art. Go in there, play with the fonts, try and try and come up with some really cool things to do. The next cool thing that you can put in there is math equations. I know people don't think math equations are cool, but I want to show you how you can make stuff look really neat inside of a PowerPoint presentation. If you click on insert and you go over to object and then choose Microsoft Equation 3.0. Inside here you'll be able to insert equations that you normally couldn't. So if I wanted to say use multiplication and 3 times 2 and I want to use that that dot there for multiplication. That's a symbol we use for multiplying later on when we get into pre-algebra and algebra. Then you can do that. Click on the X and then you have something very nice. Oh, it's really, really small. Hold on. There we go. That you can then move around. Let's insert another one and see what, el what other things we can do in there. Have you ever used equations or um, exponents? You can do exponents pretty easily, 3 to the power of 2, and have that go in there. Ooh, that's again really small, so let's stretch it, make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's insert another one. Here, let's do uh, square roots. Square root of a number, like the square root of 4. Let's say plus or minus the square root of 4. Let's put in that symbol, the plus or minus symbol. We know that's one that um, often shows up when we're talking about square roots. And sometimes hard to find these symbols. Let's do another one. You can see that they're, they're pretty quick. We can write longer equations. And let's say you were doing brackets, parentheses, absolute values. They're all in here. Just regular division. Let's do that one. Um, 25, whoops. Oh, we'll make it 50. 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. Right? You can do division now. Long division. You can write out all the steps inside of a PowerPoint slide and show all of your work. So it's really neat. This tool is, is really great for, for putting in different things that you would struggle to be able to put in otherwise and they look really clean and crisp, which is one of my favorite things about using that math equation. Again, that's inside of Insert Tab, Object, and the Microsoft Equation 3.0. Now, the last tool I'm going to show you is SmartArt. SmartArt is underutilized in PowerPoints. You can use this to do so many different things. And you could click on SmartArt here, or you can click on SmartArt down there. You can use this for showing, like it shows right here, just blocks of different information. You can use it for showing a list of information like this. You can use it for tables. I like this one a lot. I think this is really cool where you show a cycle of things. One thing leads to the next. You can have like a triangle. Something leads to something else. 
You can have relationships between items, something and something else. You can have triangles. I mean, it's just all set for you. I mean, look at this. This is really neat. When you pick one, let's say we're going to do this one here. It first starts off being pretty colorless, but you can change the colors to having all sorts of different patterns of colors, or you can edit the colors individually. You can change them to being more three-dimensional, and then you can add in text all the way along in each one, like numbers or whatever you want, all the way around here. Okay, so this is a great way that, again, you can really enhance your PowerPoint, make it look really cool, bright, the colors just pop, and it looks really sharp. So I can't possibly show you all of them inside of one lesson, but check out SmartArt. Insert some different smart arts and just look at all the options you have. There's some really, really cool things that you can do with that. So hopefully that lesson was helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.